Good afternoon, and welcome to the Wednesday afternoon conference call with Trusts Unlimited. This is Jim George speaking. I'm the non-attorney spokesman and facilitator for Trusts Unlimited, and I'd like to thank all of you for taking the time to uh, listen to this call, particularly those of you calling in for the first time and those that will be listening to the replay over the next 24 to 48 hours. We like to move quickly through these calls bottom line the information for you. We know you're busy people. You have other things to do. So let's go ahead and get started. We have a standard format. We spend a few minutes talking about the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, which we continue to believe is the base currency for these other prevalued currencies. We spend a few minutes talking about the program we've put in place to assist you, and then we go to a brief Q&A. So let's go ahead and get started and talk a little bit about the uh, the revaluation uh, and reinstitution of the Iraqi dinar. First, by way of disclaimer, Trusts Unlimited is not the purveyor of these prevalued currencies. We're not advocating either the sale or the purchase of these currencies, but as rather substantial currency holders ourselves, we're merely sharing with you the information that we think is relevant. And the first relevant piece of information as far as we're concerned, is the window for the reinstitution of the Iraqi dinar. We have a little bit of a spread here. Uh, upside, the Iraqi dinar could revalue in the next 30 to 60 days. However, it is our view that the reinstitution of the Iraqi dinar will not occur until January of 2020. Uh, and I'm going to be explaining why we believe that's to be the case in a little bit more detail. But first, let's talk a little bit about the situation in Iraq. Uh, we seem to be in a, a temporary lull for right now. There's been a lot of frenetic activity over the summer, but things seem to have slowed down a little bit. Uh, but there are some things that are going on, but they will take some time. We know that the Sadras coalition in the parliament is still working very hard to clean up all of the corruption in the government, and they very much want to see the implementation of the justice and accountability law. That's an issue which will take some time. We also know that the uh, al Alak, that is the current uh, governor of the CBI, has announced uh, that he plans to resign effective January 1st. Now, in as much as the uh, parliament, in terms of uh, their review of corruption, has been taking a closer look at the CBI. And inasmuch as a lock has been accused of some uh, rather questionable behavior, I think he did the calculation that he would probably be removed. And so he went ahead and announced his resignation effective September 1st. So there certainly, in my opinion, would not be a reinstitution of the currency under those circumstances. Uh, the Kurds continue to demand additional concessions with regard to the implementation of Article 140. They are, of course, a uh, persecuted minority within Iraq, and so they're going to be milking that for all it's worth, and that, too, is going to take some time. The United States State Department and the government of Iraq are also negotiating uh, a step-up of a U.S. presence in Iraq, both diplomatically and militarily, primarily to ensure no further uh, Iranian influence and also to hold Iraq's feet to the fire with regard to the sanctions that the United States has with Iran. Uh, they want to keep the pressure on Iran because they believe that's the best way to bring Iran to the negotiating table and hopefully to have Iran return as a modern sovereign nation state that's behaving uh, as all nation states should behave. Uh, that's basically where we are right now. I do want to reiterate that it seems to me that the only logical date for reinstitution would be January 2020, not only for the reasons that I stated. Uh, if you look at the reinstitution of currency, say, over the last 100 years, ironically, the months that it's fallen into have been January and September. January, because some nations operate on a, a, a calendar basis, September, because other nations work on a fiscal year that begins in September. But as we get closer to the end of the year, it simply makes no sense for Iraq to go through the uh, rigors of 
reinstituting or rather rewriting the 2019 budget only to then turn right around and then have to write the 2020 budget. As we get close to the end of the year, it simply makes more sense to wait until January, uh, establish a budget that will reflect the increase in the Iraqi dinar. So for me, actually, that's good news. I know that it disappoints a lot of people, uh, particularly those that for some reason continue to listen to these gurus that say the reinstitution is going to happen in the next five seconds. I, along with most of our clients, are in this for the long haul. We have clients that have had currencies for over a decade, so another three, four, or five months is nothing at all. For myself personally, what I'm going to do over the next few months is continue to purchase some more currencies, uh, and uh, I've had some changes in my life, so I am in the process of uh, tweaking my trust, my will, my powers of attorneys, and some other things that I have uh, set aside for my family. Uh, and uh, so I look forward to going through the end of the year, going through the holidays, and having everything in place, ready to go in January of 2020. Certainly, if something were to happen prior to that, then we'll adjust accordingly and we will move as quickly as we possibly can. But again, uh, if I had to bet to farm, uh, common sense and experience tells me that January 2020 is the most reasonable expectation for the reinstitution of the dinar. Now again, that being the case, that gives individuals time to get their affairs in order prior to that date. Many individuals have no idea what that involves. But Trusts Unlimited has put a turnkey program in place to assist you. It's a two-phased program. Phase one is pre-RV. Phase two is post-RV. Pre-RV involves the establishment of a pre-RV package of asset protection trusts with the assignment of your currencies on paper to that trust package. Post-RV involves all of the products, services, and professional referrals that will be made available to you after the revaluation of these currencies. Now, there are a number of things individuals can do to attempt to protect this newfound wealth. Some individuals have chosen to establish LLCs and sub-S corporations. Now, they do provide some asset protection, primarily segregating business property from personal property. But many courts have ruled that if an LLC or a sub-S corporation is owned by one person or a majority of the stock is owned by a closely held group, that LLC or sub-S corporation can be pierced for civil litigation. So that makes these vehicles inappropriate for protecting these currencies. Some individuals have established single trusts. If you establish, for example, a revocable trust, you have successfully exempted your estate from probate and the federal estate tax, but you have no privacy or asset protection, so a revocable trust is inappropriate. Some individuals have established single irrevocable trusts. It's a little bit more asset protection, but here's the problem. If any asset within a single irrevocable trust gets involved in civil litigation, that necessarily involves all of your other assets and net worth because they're all owned by the same entity, that one trust. That is why we have created a package of trusts, and I will be explaining in a little bit more detail why that's the only bulletproof asset protection that exists within the borders of the United States. Now, there are a number of reasons why you'd want to establish our trust package pre-RV, and I'm going to review them with you here. First, by establishing this trust package, and assigning your currencies on paper to that trust package, you will have preserved your privacy and your anonymity. That is because assets held within our trust package are sealed, and the general public will have no knowledge of your net worth or your actual holdings. Second, by establishing this trust package, you will be able to successfully avoid personal IRS scrutiny. If you're holding these currencies in direct title when they revalue, the IRS computers will probably spit out an audit. And with the potential magnitude of this revaluation relative to your prior year's earnings, you're probably looking at a full-blown six-year audit. Such an audit would be time-consuming, 
It would be frustrating, and frankly, it would probably cost you more than our asset protection trust package. On the other hand, if your trust package is in force and your currencies have been assigned to that trust package, you have successfully transferred the taxable event of the revaluation from yourself personally to our trust package. Now that's important for two reasons. First, there's less than a 10% chance of an audit if the revaluation were to occur within our trust package. But second and most importantly, even if the IRS determines to audit your trust, they cannot do a six-year audit. Why? Because the only taxable event within the trust will be the revaluation itself. The third reason you'd want to establish this trust package is if you plan on gifting currency to family and friends in certain situations. Philanthropic giving can always be done on a tax-preferred basis, either pre- or post-RV. But in order to avoid a substantial 40% federal gift tax, you're going to need to give currencies to family and friends prior to the revaluation. Now, if you're gifting to individuals that you have no problem giving them the currency to exchange for themselves or giving them the lump sum after you have negotiated the exchange, that can be accomplished outside of the trust with a standard gift letter. But if you are hesitant for any reason to give these individuals the post-RV lump sum, then you can gift to them through our trust package. We have created a special gift subtrust for that purpose. By gifting through this subtrust, their currencies will be protected along with yours. The language of this gift subtrust allows you to gift up to a certain amount of a currency or currencies, meaning you can give the exact U.S. dollar amount that you had in mind irrespective of the exchange rate. But because you're gifting through the trust, you will have complete control of the post-RV proceeds, meaning that you can manage, invest, and distribute the money to those individuals as you deem appropriate. The fourth reason you'd want to establish this trust package is because it's been structured in such a way as to allow your estate to bypass the cost and delay of probate and the federal estate tax. I'll give you two quick scenarios. Scenario number one. You purchase 5 million dinar for $5,000. The day after that, those currencies revalue for $25 million. The day after that, you pass away, leaving your heirs in a state of $25 million. Now that estate must go through probate, a process that ordinarily can take anywhere from 6 to 18 months. But probate is a public disclosure process meaning that the general public will be aware of the size of your estate, who your heirs are, and how much they each stand to inherit. So if anyone feels they have a legitimate claim against you, your estate, or your heirs, they can simply file that claim with a probate court. And that could tie the estate up for years, and in some cases even decades. And your heirs will have either limited access or no access at all to their respective inheritance, until the probate process is completed. Then there's something called the federal estate tax. This is the tax that the federal government would assess through probate in order for you to transfer that estate to your heirs. Under current law, approximately $10 million of that $25 million estate would bypass any federal estate tax, but the balance could be taxed as much as 55%. Now, this situation is completely unacceptable, and it's unavoidable. Scenario number two, you purchase 5 million dinar for $5,000. The day after that, you assign those currencies on paper to our asset protection trust package. The day after that, those currencies revalue for $25 million. The day after that, you pass away leaving your heirs that same estate of $25 million, but this time protected in our asset protection trust package. As a result, there will be no probate. There will be no public disclosure of your estate. Your heirs will have immediate access to their respective inheritance, and the federal estate tax will be zero, saving your heirs as much as 55% of their inheritance. The fifth reason 
you'd want to establish this pre-RV package of asset protection trusts is for some very specific asset protection benefits. One pre-RV, one post-RV. Pre-RV, this trust package will allow you to circumvent something called the Uniform Fraudulent Transfer Act. What does that mean? Under our system of civil procedure, you can only be sued for what you actually own in direct title or the value of property at the time you transfer it out of title to an entity like our trust package. So let's take the previous example from before. You purchase five million dinar for $5,000. You transfer those currencies to our trust package. They subsequently revalue for $25 million. You begin to live a lifestyle more reflective of your newfound wealth, and a couple of years down the road, someone sees that you're living rather comfortably and decides for whatever reason that they're going to sue you. Well, this prospective plaintiff has a couple of problems. First, he or she better have a very strong case and very deep pockets because this trust has been structured in such a way as to make it extremely expensive and extremely time-consuming to pursue civil litigation. Second, and most importantly, once the prospective plaintiff learns that pursuant to the Uniform Fraudulent Transfer Act, the only thing they could ever win by way of a civil award would be $5,000, the value of the currencies at the time you transferred them out of title to our trust package, and none of the post-RV value of $25 million, there will be no lawsuit. Post-RV, there's a benefit I like to refer to as a limited liability stop loss. This will protect you from future bad acts after you have acquired this wealth. And this is how it would work. Once again, we'll use the same example. You purchase five million dinar for $5,000, transfer them to our trust. They revalue for 25 million. Now that you have 25 million in trust, you decide to make some purchases. So you purchase a larger primary residence, a vacation home, perhaps a half a dozen rental properties for tax write-off and additional cash flow, a couple of cars, a boat, and let's say an RV. But as you purchase these items, you place each of them in their own separate subtrust to be managed by your master trust. Now, why is this a critical legal strategy to provide asset protection? Well, let's say one day you're driving one of your new cars, you have an accident, the accident is clearly your fault, and tragically someone is seriously injured or even killed. Well, the family of the victim is going to want to sue you. But remember, civil suits are about monetary awards, and you don't legally own anything. So the plaintiffs would be left to sue the owner of the car that you were driving. Well, who owns that car? one of your subtrusts of which you're merely the beneficiary. And what's in that subtrust? Merely that one car and the car insurance policy. In that scenario, the car insurance carrier will negotiate an out-of-court settlement with the victim's family. You will not be involved in those rather unpleasant negotiations. The car insurance carrier will repair or replace your car, making you whole. And this is important. All of your other assets are safely protected in other subtrusts. Now, why is that the case? That is because under the law, those separate subtrusts are separate legal persons or entities, and the plaintiffs would have no standing to pursue a separate legal entity. So your trust package works very much the way a barge would work, where all of the valuable cargo is stored in a series of small compartments. Why? In the event that any compartment is ever breached, the only potential loss would be the cargo in that one compartment. The cargo in the other compartments is safe and secure due to the firewalls, and the barge will never sink. Now, these benefits are lost to you if you do not establish your package of asset protection trusts prior to the revaluation of these currencies. Now, there is one other benefit, and it's this. If you are, in fact, the holder of one of our pre-RV asset protection trust packages, then you will be eligible to participate in phase two, 
all of the products, services, and professional referrals that will be made available to you after the revaluation of the dinar and these other currencies. I'll just uh, make an uh, uh, example uh, of one of these benefits here today. Trusts Unlimited will be sponsoring a post-RV seminar to be held in Disney World, Florida, approximately after the reevaluation of the Iraqi dinar. Present at that seminar will, of course, be the staff of Trusts Unlimited to assist you with the management and funding of your trust package. In addition, we will have our tax specialists there as well. Our offshore specialists will show you that by establishing offshore title of certain assets, you can substantially reduce and in some cases eliminate future taxation of the net proceeds from the revaluation itself. Many of our clients have also expressed a desire to establish scholarship funds, foundational trusts, special needs trusts, charitable remainder trusts, and even the more complicated 501c3 nonprofit and offshore trusts. And the proper way to fund those entities is through the direct transfer of funds from your asset protection trust to those newly formed entities. We'll also have our independent fee-based wealth managers there as well. You're going to want to reposition assets after the revaluation for a number of reasons. First, we know statistically that 95% of all windfalls, however large and from whatever source, are lost within the first three to five years due to inexperience, mismanagement, and fraud. We also know that under the new G20 bank bail-in provision, the failure of banks in the future will no longer be made whole through the general taxing authority of the respective governments, but first and foremost by the confiscation of funds at the accounts at those banks. So you're going to want to get money out of the banks and at work to avoid that risk. In addition, the general global shift from fiat-based to commodity-based Basel III compliant currencies in and of itself is going to create extremely volatile financial markets and you're going to want a substantial amount of your net worth in tangible assets in order to avoid that volatility. Now, our trust package is initially a package of 10 trusts consisting of one master trust that will hold your assigned currencies pre-RV and your financial assets like bank accounts and investment accounts post-RV, one optional gift subtrust that can be converted to a standard subtrust at any time, and eight additional subtrusts to hold physical assets like homes, cars, boats, etc. This was the simplification of a rather sophisticated trust package that we've utilized for our more fluent clients, a trust package that had an initial cost of anywhere from six to $10,000. But when we decided to work with Denarians, we decided to basically simplify and back-end load that product. And by so doing, we've been able to reduce the cost to $3,000. Now there are several ways you can pay for that. If you pay us up front, We'll discount the price further to $2,500, saving you an additional $500. If that's not possible, we do have a deferred payment arrangement. You'd make an initial payment of $525, which some would offset our out-of-pocket costs just to produce and deliver your trust. The balance of the $3,000 would then be paid in $100 monthly installments. We will charge no interest the only proviso is once the revaluation of the Iraqi dinar occurs, any unpaid balance would need to be paid within 30 days. With this approach, anyone that has currencies and understands the need for getting their trust in place pre-RV should be able to afford to do so. One other suggestion, we do accept credit cards. Pay us up front with a credit card. Not only will you get the $500 discount, but the minimum payment on your credit card would be less than the 100 a month you would pay under our deferred payment arrangement. But we will work with you in whatever method works best for you. Our objective is to help you get your affairs in order and your trust in place for all of the reasons that we've stated. One other issue with regard to the trust, that $3,000 sum purchases all of the documents that you will ever need. The only additional cost to this trust would be the paralegal fees 
nominal paralegal fees that would be involved either in amending your trust to accommodate any changes you want to make or actually funding the sub-trusts. Now we're going to be going to a Q&A in just a minute. But before I do, and for the benefit again of our newer callers, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Trusts Unlimited, and you may want to seriously consider getting our initial trust package. Our trust package was written by our attorney, Robert Bly. He's been a practicing attorney for over 40 years, specializing in the areas of estate planning, asset protection, and offshore planning. I myself hold degrees in political science, macroeconomics, and finance. I've worked in these areas for over 38 years, and I, along with my clients, were personally involved in the reinstitution of the Kuwaiti dinar in the early 90s. So between the two of us, Robert Bly and I have over 78 years' experience working precisely in this niche area, and I frankly know of no firm that can make that claim. Now, Bob and I have been working together for over a decade in the areas of estate planning, asset protection, and offshore planning. And it has, of course, been disheartening from time to time to see people walk away from sound estate planning and trust creation because of the mistaken belief that by doing so, they have somehow lost control of their assets and their affairs. In point of fact, under our system of civil litigation, it's when you hold assets in direct title that you can lose control of them. And invariably, it's at precisely those times in life that you need and want control. If you've lived for any length of time, you've either experienced in your own life or through friends and family things like unexpected divorce, permanent incapacitation, the onset of dementia, premature death and prolonged and complicated probate processes, then there are investment losses, business losses, and even bankruptcies. The number two loss of wealth now in the aggregate courtesy of the information age, is identity theft. But the number one loss of personal wealth remains confiscation through civil litigation. Anything you own in direct title can be taken from you. So in point of fact, the only way that you can manage, protect, and control everything at all times and in all circumstances is through the establishment of your package of irrevocable trusts, and particularly if you have an asset like these currencies that you're anticipating a substantial increase in value. And we at Trusts Unlimited will do everything we can to help you accomplish your personal and financial objectives, both pre- and post-RV, as we understand them. Again, I'd like to thank you for listening to the call. I'm going to open the Q&A in just a moment. When I do, I'm going to be giving you our contact information. If you're interested in the things we've discussed here today, I strongly suggest you get our initial package. You're under absolutely no obligation by receiving this package, even though it does include everything you need if you should decide to proceed with the establishment of an asset protection trust. This package has a lot of information about us, about the revaluation, about the trusts in general. You can review the package, contact us by phone or email if you have any questions. We'll be happy to assist you in every way, and there will be no consultation fee. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Q&A. Two quick rules on the Q&A. We accept no uh, service calls on the Q&A. This is specifically designed to help those that are maybe interested in getting our initial trust package. And for obvious reasons, your name and number must be on the screen to participate in the Q&A. So I'm going to go ahead and open it now. And while I'm waiting for any potential questions, let me give you our contact information. You can go to our website, which is trusts with an S, unlimited, LLC.com. Our email address is trusts with an S, unlimited, LLC at gmail.com. Our phone service is 307 274 4122. If you'd like to listen to a recent conference call playback, or if you'd be kind enough to refer us to someone that might be interested in our services, you can either go to YouTube and go to Trusts Unlimited, or you can go to IQD Calls, 
and go to Trusts Unlimited. Or you can simply dial the same number that you dialed uh, for this live call this afternoon with the exception of the last digit. Rather than dialing 4, you'll dial a 3, and then use the same access code, which is 739-394-POUND. If you'd like to be included on our email list, you can go to our website, go to the bottom, enter your name and email address or indicated. You should be in our email list within 24 hours. Bear in mind that we only send emails out very periodically pre-RV, but after the reinstitution of the Iraqi dinar, uh, emails will certainly be going out weekly and possibly even daily. Well, I'm looking here, and we seem to have no questions in the Q&A. That's uh, certainly fine. Uh, I hope that that means that I have provided you with the information you need. Uh, again, I'd like to thank all of you for taking the time to listen to the call. Our next call is scheduled for next Wednesday afternoon. Certainly, if something of a dramatic nature were to happen between now and then, we'll try to get an emergency email out and schedule an emergency conference call. But failing that, we will be back next week, noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for listening, and have a great week.